And welcome back to Newswatch, folks. We are tracking the drought of 2024. This is the level of the Greenbrier River. You can see it's shrinking as the days go on. And this is Lexington, Virginia in a severe drought. Not a lick of water. Farmers are probably desperately waiting for rain and the crop yields probably much lower than average. And here's the month to date departure of rain. We need an inch and a half just to make up for this month let alone last month. Most of us in a moderate drought. Drought Monitor just updated today and hasn't changed much since last week. Most of us in a moderate drought, a little bit abnormally dry, which is just a stage below or a stage above, I should say, the uh, moderate drought. But I-81 is in a crippling drought right now, so we could desperately use several days of rain. Temperatures right now in the mid 70s, except low 80s in Lewisburg, Beckley and Pipe Stem. It's actually not a bad evening. The uh, radar is pretty quiet, but we are watching this low pressure in eastern North Carolina right along a stalled boundary that's going to move north tomorrow. It's going to bring appreciable rain east of the Shenandoah Valley, but we will have a couple of thunderstorms develop in the Greenbrier Valley itself. One or two of you may see a soaking tomorrow afternoon. That's about the extent of it. Now in the water vapor imagery, we can definitely see this low pressure as it develops here across eastern parts of North Carolina, and it will eventually charge north up the coast. See, you, this front to the west, that's gonna be the blocking mechanism, keeping most of that moisture well to our east. So the forecast tonight, we are down into the lower 60s. It'll be a gorgeous evening. Temperatures tomorrow around 86 degrees, and only those of you along the 219 corridor will see a shower or a thunderstorm in the evening. The rest of us stay dry. The rest of us continue to need to water the garden. Through the weekend, it warms up again early next week. Now, things will start to change during the middle part of the week as a cold front slides south and east. And this cold front will come through Wednesday evening. That will finally bring us all showers and thunderstorms and then after that finally a cooler air mass for about two days so here's your seven day forecast in writing we are in the mid 80s on friday saturday 88 degrees just a 40 percent risk for a thunderstorm on sunday about two or three of you will see that we're back to 90 on monday hot on tuesday with an evening thunderstorm possible better chance wednesday when the front comes through and look at that we drop back into the 70s next Thursday. That's your seven day storm watch for weather forecast.